So lecture three of prompt engineering and advanced techniques, leveraging tone, style, and voice. Uh, this is a unique part of what makes this software so powerful, is the ability to give it this feedback and say, make the writing more compelling, more convincing, more entertaining. The fact it's going to rewrite everything that it's given you with such a small prompt uh, in that specific style, it almost a uh, perfect example of that style is uh, mind blowing. But one of the um, ways you can improve the quality of the process of generating the best possible outputs and uh, something that I personally get a lot of joy out of when I see an entire email rewritten in a more um, compelling way. Uh, and it's good to just learn, you know, what does a more compelling email look like? What words have been changed? Uh, and use that to improve your own writing outside of uh, ChatGPT prompts. So let's go over some examples and I'll include these uh, in a file um, for you to review as part of the course. So uh, firstly, um, you know, what is tone, style, and voice uh, in terms of prompts. They are words that describe the desired tone and style of the output, uh, as well as adjectives and prompts um, to help clarify expectations and create a cohesive overall tone. Uh, this can improve the output's quality and effectiveness. So we have a few examples here regarding tone, things like informative, persuasive, descriptive, emotional, thoughtful, passionate. I've included some descriptions of each of these as well, uh, but some you may have not um, you know, considered like experimental writing or soothing writing, eerie writing. Uh, let's try eerie for fun. Uh, let's say explain uh, how to use ChatGPT using an eerie tone of voice. If you ever see this issue, uh, you can just refresh the page and it normally resolves uh, any connection problems. Maybe it's a little difficult if it's not um, telling a story. <laughs> you could provide prompts such as the darkness was all around me. Yeah, so eerie is, a, is eerie is a challenge one. Yeah, it says, but beware. Uh, it may learn your dark thoughts. So it's embedded some things in there, but you know, to a degree based on what is possible. Uh, if, so if you dare, give it a try. Take your writing to new eerie heights. Very good. So yeah, we have uh, a number of different examples here. Style is, uh, you know, the overall... Uh, style and theme of the writing. So we've got formal, academic style, casual, conversational, persuasive, sales, creative, literary, professional business, and so on and so forth. Uh, voice. So how that um, voice sounds if it you know, was to be uh, expressed verbally, and that can help change the tonality as well as the vernacular within the writing. Um, nasally voice would be an interesting to, to try. Uh, yeah, these these are really just ideas that you can implement uh, to help um, you know meet certain objectives with the output, particularly if it's for copywriting. And a lot of the uh, purposes related to ChatGPT are for copywriting um, tasks. So. Hope this helps and uh, see you in the next lecture.